so here i have some images and the goal here is the goal here is to show you to show you guys and help you visualize how you can break everyday objects into three-dimensional shapes so so far i've taught you guys the basic shapes the flat shapes which are squares circles and triangles and i've taught you the three-dimensional shapes as well so we're going to be moving from that and moving into the other aspects which is visualizing the objects so we're going to start out by just creating an envelope of what the entire shape is going to look like yeah we're just thinking flat shapes like imagine the shapes we're seeing so now let's make i'm um, as you can see i'm making the shape look more three-dimensional and the way i'm doing it is simply by adding planes you can see there's a clear front plane and there's a clear side plane and that side plane has two roofing sheets which give us more plane so the more planes you add to the object the more three-dimensional the object is that's pretty much your idea behind what i'm doing here then next move to this other guy over here and we simplify the body of the tree into two parallelograms placed on top of each other in opposite direction we can also take the branches as initial rectangles then we'll modify them into cylinders that insert into the shape to get the tree at the back we can just simplify that as an oval you can see there's no straight way of doing it it's just your judgment the goal is for you to break down the shape and simplify them so that you can easily draw it not focusing on the details or just focusing on the general shape of the object so why i chose this image specifically of this girl because that's very defined graphic shapes so as you can see i just i just did a tracing over it to get the major shapes you can you can spot a face as an oval and at the a bone a circle my goal here is to simplify this image to its basic component we have the hair we have a face which is an egg shape and we have to spare for the hair and i'm using the shadow shapes to separate the plane there like you see on her face from the base of her face to her neck there's a general shape there we can group that as one shadow shape and the base of our nose as you, we all know our nose has a bottom plane so i just added in the bottom plane and the under plane of inside the eyebrows you can see i'm adding that in there too then the hair if you see i divided it into two major parts we can see the high the where the light hits the hair and i'm just creating that separation between light and shadow to give it a multi-dimensional strength and you can just try our hand as a tube and triangle shape for our vest. Another way you can show shape is through value. So here we're just using black and white so that we will not have to do much work. So I'm just painting in the background here and I'm going to be blocking in the shape with something called atmospheric depth. As objects get further away from you, they lose that saturation. So objects that are further away from you, when you reduce an image to black and white we tend to be lighter compared to the object in the foreground so this difference in culture is depth to your image and the shape of of the values you put i don't think i've explained values to you guys yet but the shape the values that's just pretty much how dark or how light an object is determines how the separation between the foreground and background so that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm just explaining i'm just I'm trying to get the light and shadow part of this rock in front of in front of us here, and that's pretty much it. My, I'm trying to exp what I'm trying to pass along to you guys is that shapes are the basis of everything. Anything you want to draw, if you can design the shapes well, or you can design them accurately, you'll be able to create any image you want to make, whatever kind of art you want to do. Maybe it's digital art, you want to do traditional art, you want to do watercolor, you want to do sculpting, anything. Your understanding of shapes is very fundamental to the process.